So here it is, our Pierce Dump Bed Kit 2.0 review. Been wanting to do this review for a while, finally got the trailer done enough to do it, so let's take a look. I took the Pierce Dump Bed Kit off of my 2016 Super Duty, fabricated up some brackets, and fit it onto the 78 Chevy C20. So what we have here is a 78 C20 pickup that I cut the frame right under the cab. I then took a section of RV uh, trailer frame, bought this coupler, welded that on, and also welded on this drop-down jack. So that all looks really nice. Um, in the past, when I've cut these trucks up to make trailers, I've used six inch C-channel with a coupler. When you do this, no matter what you use, make sure that your home-built A-frame is square with the trailer so the trailer pulls behind your truck straight. You gotta really watch that. So this right here is temporary. I have everything kind of zip-stripped here. I do have a truck bed toolbox I'm gonna to be welding on here. I'll drill a hole through it, put a rubber grommet through that hole, run all the electrical into that box and put a battery in there. But in the meantime, I just have a zip stripped here um, and I run jumper cables to the truck that tows the trailer. Couple things else I need to button up here. I'm gonna be capping off these axles. I did hollow out the differential and the axle and everything to make it lighter. So I'm gonna put some uh, weld up, some, or not weld up rather, but cut up some caps to put on here. And then I still have to get the lights done, run the wiring for the lights. I'm gonna put LED bulbs in the original Chevy tail lights. Uh, so for right now, I use those magnetic lights that you get at uh, you know, your hardware stores. And I run that off of the tow vehicle. So let's go ahead and raise this up and take a look. Now with this, you'll notice that I have the bumper welded to the kit, so everything's moving together. And that gives me plenty of clearance for the tailgate and everything to be open and all when we do this. So on the original kit, people were asking how to do this section. So you'll see here where I have the bumper brackets welded to the blue um, hinge sections of the kit. And I had to use some spacers in here, but I got that all welded up nice. We added in some brackets to make this kit fit this truck. So there's a cross member I have there. And I added in a cross member here. Everything's all welded solid on this. And then here you see where I had to add in some brackets to make it fit the uh, spacing on the bed from the Super Duty. And I gotta tell you, cutting through these cross members was killing blade after blade. These old beds are so much thicker and harder steel than the new ones, which is why I took this off my Super Duty. I almost folded that bed in half, um, the belly of the uh, bed floor rather, with a really heavy load. This truck here is so much more solid. So I'm really happy with it being on here rather than my Super Duty. But like I say, you see all the different spacers I had to kind of fabricate up and install. And then when I did this, I measured where the pivot points were to this lifting section on my Super Duty and made sure they were at the same spot on this eight foot bed. Because obviously if I wouldn't have had that in the same spots, the math would be wrong um, as far as how much lifting force it has and everything else. So I kind of copied their mathematics there. But I'm really happy with it. The only other thing I still need to do yet besides what I already showed you was put a... Uh, a stand in here like another cross member so that when this lifting the scissor section comes down it can rest on that cross member uh, i went over that with my original pierce dump bed kit review they give you a cable to put across here and that cable ends up breaking and then the scissor section just bounces around on your axle and you definitely don't want that so i still have to add in that resting bracket across there but other than that i'm really happy with the way this turned out uh so we'll go ahead and lower it down now and show you that So those kits can be used for more than just what they're sold for. If you have a welder and you can do a little fabricating. But again, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, so there's your review. I really hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you enjoy the channel. If you do, please hit it with a like and subscribe. There's always more stuff coming. Thanks for watching.